metro levels No dancing with devils, no fellow with rebels Some digging with shovels, they digging, they digging, they digging real deep Some humble, they harking, they listen, they me Some praise the most high seven days of the week Some put in that work and go teach in the streets Some just come to take up the air that we breathe Some come just to take up the space that we need Their spiritual levels, their spiritual levels They come in on shapes in the sun, there's several Israel for salvation in every other nation Who we believe in? Yeah, go ahead, thank you What y'all believe in? Y'all believe in the Bible? Well, what you believe in? We believe in the Bible. Okay. I, I mean, do you believe in the entire Bible from the, from the beginning to the end? Yeah. Did God have a chosen people? What do you mean by chosen? I got chosen people that he chose. The God has a chosen people. I, 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 out of every nation that he created, does he have a chosen people? Well, well, in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament yes, he, he chose the Israelites. But he chose Israelites. And, he chose, he chose and then when they betrayed him, he opened up to the Gentiles. He opened up to who? The Gentiles, everybody. Okay, so you think you think oh, you think those Gentiles uh, are 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 like, are like uh, heathen, straight up uh, nation of Israel? Right? Hold on, I never said that. I'm 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 just oh, yeah. curious to think what you believe because is that a Bible right there? Yes, Bible. So, Absolutely. so from from where's your standpoint from? Like, my what standpoint. Do you think? Okay, my standpoint is that. God has a chosen people. And he, ne he never cast them away. He never cast. He never cast them away. And you said that uh, they, they, they betrayed him. Now that's in the Old Testament that they, they, that, that that was prophesied that they would that that that, 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 they, that they would that they would do that. But just because that, that just because they prophesied that they would do that, it don't mean that oh the Most High gave it to another nation uh, uh, that, that that he did that he didn't choose from the beginning. Because so what you gotta understand, this book. It's about the Israelites from the beginning to the to, to the to the very to, to the very end. When you read the beginning of every chapter, when you when you, when you read the beginning of every chapter in, 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 in the book, every chapter in the book is the Israelites, and it's the beginning. Been to the Israel, been to the house of Israel, been to the uh, written written to the Jews. Not necessarily because if you look at the Old Testament, well, once 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 Jesus came and died on the cross. Uh, and rose again. Then uh, it wasn't uh, just for uh, any uh, race uh, of people. Uh, uh, who, 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 who did he die for? He died for everyone. 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 Give me, give me Matthew one and twenty one. Give me Matthew two and two. Matthew one and twenty one and Matthew two and two. Yeah. Hey, they give me, they give me Acts thirteen and twenty three. Yeah, yeah. This is Matthew chapter one uh -huh. and verse twenty one. Bring it out. And she shall bring forth the son. Uh huh. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Uh huh. For he shall save his people. He shall save who? His people uh -huh. from their sins. He said his who? Who is Jesus? Before it was uh, just the Israelites, but after it was every race of nation. Who is Jesus right here? But yeah, you because, can't just read half the Bible. God, 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 does God change? No. God no, he does not. Same, but it's he does, he does not. He said he died for his people. His people are the Israelites. Give Matthew 2 and 6. This is Matthew chapter 2 and verse 6. Uh -huh. And thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, uh -huh. art not thou least among the princes of Judah? Uh -huh. for, out out of, for out of thee shall come a governor uh -huh. that shall rule my people Israel. Not the whole world. My people Israel. Not the other nations that God created. My, my people, people Israel. Israel. He said Christ is going to rule Israel. Right. So, and then he's showing who's, who's the people. How, who's people. how can you explain like the book of Hebrews? What, what about the people? Which, which one? Which one? Nobody. What? 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 what, what, what uh, which one? Nobody. See, it seems like because it talks it's about new, it, it, it talks about a new cover. So the you book is called Hebrew. Yeah, yeah, we're the real people. We're the biblical Jews. That's what's interesting. So, can you explain hey, the huh? difference between? Like, I'm, I'm generally wanting to hear what you guys have to say, right? Okay. So, can you explain the difference between your beliefs and Christianity? What, what do okay, you guys so see different? Okay, so. Beliefs? So Christianity believes that God is for everyone. Everyone can say, oh, I believe in Christ and he accepted and he died for the whole world. We believe that he did die for the whole world and everyone can't be a Christian. We believe that only the blacks, Hispanics, and the North American Indians who fit the prophecies in Deuteronomy the 28th chapter are the uh, chosen people are the most high God and the only ones who can come back to him because they are the only ones that made a cup of blood sacrifice covenant with God. No other nation made that with him. So that's what that, that's what we are here preaching. That, 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 that Christ died for the Israelites and he's coming back for the Israelites. And according to uh Revelations uh I think it's two and twenty six, he said that his children, yeah, like who are the children of Israel, are gonna rule the nation for the water. Okay, they're they're so gonna hold it. So they're gonna hold it. Let's just get past it. I just, I just wanna like, I don't, I'm not going to argue with you guys. I'm just wanting to know more about your religion. How does that, or I'm sorry, 
the releases. Releases, man, that's a bad thing. What do you call it? Basically, it's the hair. We're just the Israelites. Okay, We're so the ones in the Bible that's really. How does what you're building affect <laughs> culture today? Yeah, you finish it. Matthew, you finish it. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. This is Christ's words from himself, from the source. And he says, But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, is Christ lying right here? I didn't ask that. I, I'm, I'm not coming to argue with this view. I just genuinely want to know more about what you guys believe. So my question was, in the cultural movement today, with all of the different that we're seeing, what, in what ways, like practical ways, does your group speak to that? Okay, the thing is going on, you said division, right? Division. So okay. let's just take the, the racist divide that is broke in our country. Right now. Okay. Like, how would you guys speak okay, to that? Okay, give, uh, give, give, give me, uh, give me Matthew 25. Give me Matthew 25. Yeah, you can, 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 Right, that. So you don't think that how the world is right now and how the people and groups are divided, you don't think that's predestinated? Um, a lot of it's because of sin and what's caused from the beginning is what's causing Christ, a lot of division. Sin is what causes division. Christ spoke the words of his father, right? He did. Okay. Let's see what let's see, let's, let's see what he said right here. Right, this is Matthew chapter 25 and verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, uh -huh, Jesus Christ return, right? and all the holy angels with him, uh -huh. then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, uh -huh. and before him shall be gathered all nations. Uh, all what? All nations. All the people on the earth that God created, read. And he shall separate them. He said what? He shall separate no, them. No, we all going to be together. Right, one from another. One from another. As a shepherd divideth his sheep. Uh-huh. Divided his sheep. From read. the goats. Uh, read. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand. Now, who, now, who are the sheep on the most high? You're still not answering my question. Literally, answering my question. No, okay. talk about maybe, the maybe I've yeah. asked the wrong question. So, I'm I'm more interested. Like I appreciate that you guys are doing this. Right. I'm more interested in if you were to look at a group of young people right now, okay. blacks, whites, Hispanics, everybody, Don't forget and there's tension. Right. And without without going to the scriptures, take the take what you believe in the scriptures. Obviously, it will influence the way you see this. What exactly would you say to them without maybe, like, practically to heal the division? Well, this is the thing. Like, we just can't, we just can't go all the way over my own thoughts and what I would say. We have to go with what the Bible says. Right, but the Bible influences your worldview. So it's the perspective in which you see everything. And so you should be able to see different things through that. Because what, what I'm thinking is, do you guys know what critical race theory is? Critical race theory is... It's basically, uh, so did you say that you believe that the chosen people, which races what, what did you list? Oh, you believe the Israelites. Israelites. And which yeah. races did that make? The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay. So basically, you know what happened with them. Terrible. Terrible. Okay. Critical race theory means that you place people in value based on their sexuality, their in their race. So, so the whole Black Lives Matter movement is based on what race theory. Me. Oh, you're talking about me and everyone, right? Right. It's the thing, though. <laughs> that's why we should have finished this. That's why we should have finished this. That's the thing, like, our people have did that for years. Yeah, and yeah. nothing has ever came out of that. And this is the thing, we can never, you be like, as a, as a, every nation in the world unite with the black people stand there. That, that would never, that would never, that would never happen. You're absolutely right. And I'm not, I'm, uh, my, my point is saying that. There's already division in this world, right? And we can't be responsible but anybody but us. And I'm not saying one race is better because nobody is above racial racial partiality. This is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. God, this is God speaking. And he says, For thou art the holy people unto the Lord thy God. But Israel, Israelites, and Deuteronomy, he told Israel, read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. To be a what? Special people. Unto himself, uh, above all people. Above who? Above all people. Above who? Above, above all people. 
face of the earth. So God said the Israelites are above all people that are upon the face so of the earth. So you're saying that. No, God said it. The so God said it. I'm just saying that. They came out about it. So there's no. So would you. 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 Would like I appreciate what you guys do. Like I think that so many people feel this passion that you guys have and I respect you for it because it's hard to say that. What I'm saying is we live in a world that's hurting and broken. Okay. People there's I the the race division in our country is horrifying. But looking at these people and from what God said, right. telling them that, oh, these races can make it into the kingdom of God, but these right. can't, I don't understand. Now, like, maybe maybe that's what you believe, no, no, but you just got to consider, One thing I are you helping know. the hurting and broken world bring restoration? Understand this. We don't want this, this, this unification that you're speaking we don't care. Um, we want America to be destroyed as written by, in the Bible as Babylon the Great. We don't want everyone to come together. We're not We're not your main, we're not Joel Osteen, we're not your mainstream Chris, Christian pastors that want everyone to come. We're waiting on America to be thrown down as the great or Babylon the Great it is, and to be destroyed with fire. Don't, don't get this twisted up what we're saying. We want America to burn. We want your White House to burn. We want everything in this place to burn. There is no future. This place has to be destroyed according to God. If you believe in what God says, or you don't, it's just that simple. And you're coming with a, you know, a, 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 a new, I don't know what you're coming with. A, 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 it seems like a, a trending type of uh, understanding that's not dealing with the Word of God. Because as soon as you quote the Word of God, you go into this, you know, um, I don't know, philosophy that you were you coming up with. with this world, you, world unification, that's not in the Bible. That's not it. You can't find it. Where do you find in the Bible that it says that there is a chosen people, mainly three of you listed? Where did the Bible does it say that? No, I think what he means by that is yes, there's a chosen people of Israel. We agree on that. Where does it list that those are the only three races that can be included? And how can you prove from the rest of scriptures that that's the only people? Because when Jesus died on the Christ, he died on the Christ for his blood to save all. People. Listen to this. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus. Hold up. Now, this is Paul. He said, this, The God of our fathers. That's possessive. Read. Raised up Jesus. Raised up Jesus. When he slew and hanged on the tree. Uh -huh. Him have God exalted with his white right hand uh -huh. to be a prince uh -huh. and a savior uh -huh. for to give repentance to Israel. Oh, the whole world. Repentance to Israel. Repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. Okay, I hear it. Hold on, I get Acts 1323. Hold on. All right. Oh, we got to deal with that. This, this is going to this gonna bring y'all around. All right, this is Acts chapter 13, verse 23. Of this man's seed that uh -huh. God, according to his promise, uh -huh. raised the According raise, to his promise, read. Raise unto Israel a savior. Read, not the whole world. A savior. Uh huh. Jesus. Read. It says, when John had first preached uh -huh. before his, his coming, uh -huh. the baptism uh -huh. of repentance uh -huh. to all the people of Israel. Uh, not the whole world. All the people of Israel. What I'm saying. I don't think you're listening. Because what I'm saying. I don't think you're listening. What, what was just read just literally demolished every the whole person. See, okay, so how do you how do you respond to those words? Let's not go on a rant where we're just talking about the world unifying. You gotta read. How do you respond to that scripture right there? No, no. How do you respond to that that, that, that verse right there? That's, we don't want to go on a rant about everybody being unified. What do you think about what we just read? We're not arguing theology. We're just simply reading God's word. What is your interpretation of that? Do you think like you, you just picked out that the, the uh, salvation is for uh, coming from God to Jesus? Are you we talking about that? One verse about him talking about the Gentile. Okay, we can. Okay, we're gonna. Hold on, hold on. Do you think those are? Do you think those are actually Gentiles that he sent to? Look at the women at the well. No. In a culture no, no, where. No, please, let's go to that. In a culture where women. Those are not. You're going those to the worst. Those Gentiles are. Those Gentiles are literally Jews. Just, just, just like, just, just like, we're not from America. The black man is not from America. 
But our people has taken on American tradition. Now we're considered Gentiles because we are taking on y'all. I'm going to take on your, your people. I'm not American. I'm that's Russian. Like, like, I was adopted. You understand. My, okay, listen. We need to leave soon. My point is I appreciate what you guys were doing. Like, you know, I just have one question. And it's. What is it? What is all of this for if you're not making a positive impact on the actual problems of hurting people in America now? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. 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 Hold no, well, if, if you weren't sinful, you wouldn't do it. No, 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 no. You said, where's the all that hurt and that man come from? Who, who was the man? I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. I just want to ask you a question. You said John 4, the woman at the well. Let's read that. John 4 and 20. Please read that. Down to 22. Go ahead. Look at John chapter 4, verse 20. Our fathers worship in this mountain. So he's saying that the, that woman is an Israelite, clearly. Because he said, our fathers worshiped in this mountain. Good. And he say that in Jerusalem, Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, woman, believe me, that I will come when ye, when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Lord. Verse 22. You worship, you know not what. Y'all you know, worship, worship. y'all go to church, right? Y'all probably believe in Christ. You worship, you know not what for what? We know what we worship. We know what we worship, right? You read? For salvation is of the Jews. For what? For salvation is of the Jews. What does that mean? Why is Christ telling you that salvation? Hold on, hold on. Why is Christ no, telling wait, wait, you that? No, I, I haven't right, finished my last right. statement. I haven't right. finished my last statement. Hey, you can't ask a question while I'm in the middle of talking. Look, it's coming from Christ literally saying that salvation is of the Jews, that you're worshiping, that you don't know what you're worshiping, that you don't understand what this Bible is about clearly. You don't know what this whole thing is about. We've been, we've been quoting scriptures, and all you're going is some random about things come together. You're not dealing with the Bible verses and explaining them. Because Bible, you can. Is it affecting the world around Yes, it is. It's affecting us. Listen, listen. We don't want, we don't want to be unified with you. Look at history. Every time we tried to unify with you, we were deaf. We were slaughtered. We were put to death. Right. We are waiting for God to save us out of America. This is in our homeland, man. Listen, we don't want to be here. Our we don't want to be here. It's we don't not. love America. We don't have an American flag on the back of our truck. Not. We don't, not we're, not a, we're not pro American. We're not celebrating 4th of July tomorrow. Because you know why? In July 4th, 1776, my people were in slavery. My people were in bondage. We were getting whipped by your forefathers. So why in the world do you think we want to be unified with you? Why? It is just that simple. Do you think you're responsible for saying that your ancestors have done Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Give me, give me not, it's, it's really no point because they're not going to want to hear the Bible verse we pull. Yeah, it, it, we're going to go to it. We're going to ask her the question. Said, and then she's going to go on a rant about humans being equal and everybody coming together. How does it affect the world coming together? It makes no sense. We're not going nowhere. Y'all yeah, 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 don't want to hear the answers. Y'all are fake Christians, man. Y'all looking at the real Christians. The real followers of Christ. That's right, the wicked. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, they don't want to deal with it. No, man, there's no point. They keep, they keep breaking it down to them. They keep, she keep writing about world peace. Yeah. Give me the word right quick. Come on, believe in the Bible. Y'all come in the word. Y'all believe in the Bible? Come in the word. What's your, what's your nationality? Oh, 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 oh. He, said, he, said, he said you believe in the Quran? Yeah. Quran? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, you believe in the Quran? Okay. That's an Arab religion, brother. You gotta come out of hey, it. Matter of fact, hey, matter of fact, hey, 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 look up, look up the trend so hold a slave trade. Hermie. The, the, Oh, 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 you, need oh, stop, you, you need to stop that Kevin Gates stuff, brother. You gotta give it up, brother. Give it up. Oh, man. Hey, uh, hey, hey, with that, Israel, I'm gonna say, uh, Shalom, I'm gonna give it to them. Oh, man. Like, they don't wanna hit the house, folks, because they got so many questions, but they don't wanna hit the house. Stop eating cool. Yeah, oh, man, it's important, man. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, you know, So, did you, did you understand what he told you? I would love to do this thing before I have So, so clearly what we're telling you to your Filipino. And like you just said, you said y'all love this report, right? So listen, these we, we are, we're dealing with two different sets of people. God's chosen people are commanded. Not you believe that's a commandment? Y'all are Christians? 
Okay, now, what's the history of the Filipinos in Christian? They're taken over by a lot, so they're probably more of a Polynesian. We've got a lot of Chinese and Indonesian. Um, they're more of a Polynesian group. Uh, they're more of a Polynesian group. Imagine this. Was your, was your grandfather, no, let's not say a grandfather. Was your great grandfather Christian? He was. Your great grandfather was Catholic. Now, all right, let's go back a little bit further. Then. Your great great grandfather, what was he? They probably worshipped the lamb, like a lot of the indigenous. Okay, so thank you. I'm, I want to go back to the indigenous people because you're just the, the uh, what's, what's your nationality again? The Filipinos never were Christians. They never followed. They never they were subscribed. They called themselves Catholic. They called themselves. Why were they Catholic? Why, why mainly were they Catholic? Because Did they have any in okay. influence by? so-called white people. That's what the Spaniards are. So, why? So you took, they took their religion or whatever they were coming with, what they were forced to have on them, right? So, why did, would you subscribe to the religion of the people that were set up on you, that forced their religion on you? Well, you're Christians. Right? You we're believe Christ that, let me ask you this, do you believe um, Christ is God? Yes. Okay. So you're Catholic. That's, you yeah. Understand? Yeah, that's listen, Catholic. listen, listen. Actually, is universal. Yeah. Believe in a Okay. Yeah, okay, they believe that you're supposed to be a priest. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, so you are, are you familiar with the split of the churches, the Catholicism and uh, so sort of Pete, what is it? Protestant. Protestant. Right, the Protestant church, right? Are you familiar with that split? I learned it history class. Okay, so basically, you're getting taught the same exact thing. There's no difference. Okay, you can deal with the, the Pope being a hierarchy or whatever, but you're getting taught the same exact thing. You believe Christ is God. Actual God that created the whole earth. That sent Christ to create the whole earth. I think Christ, the Holy Spirit, and God are the same thing. That's the Holy Spirit. That, that, that is Catholicism. That is it's the not, Trinity. Because I believe they're all the, the same thing. The Trinity came from the Trinity. Catholicism. No, they believe that people do not believe in the Trinity. Okay. Give me, let, let me break, let's break this down. John 14 and 20. Give me this. And we're going to show you that what you believe in is not the okay. Period. Period. You've been taught the same thing that your ancestors told you. Okay, let me ask you one second. If Christ is God, who is he praying to? Who did Christ pray to? He prayed to his Father, which is God also, right? Yeah. So, so you're saying they're all God. So they're all equal to each other, basically. So in the beginning of Genesis, the guy who made the world spoke. Anybody spoke was Jesus. So you're telling me Christ and God, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit, they're all the same, they're all equal, yeah. they're all moving together. Okay, John 14, 28. Yes, John chapter 14, verse 28, right? You have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you, right? If he loved me, he would rejoice because I said, I go unto the Father. I do what? I go unto the Father. Can you read? For my Father is greater than I. For what? For my Father is greater than See, I. This is when you actually read the Bible. Here's what the Trinity falls apart. Here we got Christ Himself admitting that God the Father is greater than. Now, I asked you a specific question before I brought the scripture out. Are they both co equal? Are they all equal to each other? And are they all the same thing? And you said yes. Yeah. Now here we see Christ himself saying that I go unto my father, for my father is greater than I. Now how can his father be greater than I if the Trinity, the the, uh, the Trinity's whole basis of the Trinity is for them all to be co equal and co eternal? So they can't be. The Trinity is. I'm saying, how is the how is saying the Father greater than him if he's God? That's like God saying God's greater than God. This doesn't make any this doesn't make any sense. Because he, the, you're not you're not seeing where where, where, where all right. Where, maybe you'll see it with this. Give me Acts seven and fifty three. Right. Maybe we'll see it after this. Right. Give me Acts seven and fifty three. Give me Ephesians four and six. Go to seven. Give me Ephesians four three. and six. Right. I know, I know you know. Right. Wait, wait. How about I just. All right, it's just two quick scripts. I'll, I'll probably be quick. We'll be really quick. All right, go ahead. Give me Rev. Give me Revelation. Book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 6. One God and Father of all. One God and Father of all. Who is above all. Who is above all. 
and through all, and in, and in you all. Right? But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Right, so here we got one God that's above all, greater than all, and him given the gift of Christ. So how can Christ be God if God has given him this gift? God has given us this gift, and God himself is greater than all and above all. Does that make any sense? Go ahead, bring that up. Said Acts. Yeah, Acts 7 and 52. Alright, Acts chapter 7, verse 52. 53. 53. Okay. Nah, nah. 52. Right, bring it out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, give me that Revelation real quick. Revelation 3 and 12. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 12. Right. Him that overcometh without make a pillar in the temple of my God. <laughs> Hold on. So here we got Christ saying that him that overcometh, when he read that again? Him that overcometh without make a pillar in the temple of my God. He said he's gonna make a pillar in the temple of my God. Here we got Christ saying he has a God. If Christ has a God, how can he be God? No, how listen. He's saying he has a God. How? Th that's not in. That means there's two gods. If you're saying Christ is God, because Christ is saying he has a God. The whole thing was there's three people and they all three different persons and they all make up one God. Christ here is saying that he's a part of your so-called Trinity and he says that he has a God. So that that completely destroys the Trinity. That's what I'm telling you. That is Catholicism. What you've been taught. That's the same then, thing. And then, and then, you can call it you can call it Baptist, Protestant, uh, Protestant uh, whatever name you want to give it. You're still teaching the same thing. Catholicism teaches. It's the same thing. But hey, it's, it's a yeah. more and And he, he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God. The name of my God. I mean, his God has a name. He's going to write on the name of his God. And the name of the city of my God. He's letting you know constantly that he has a God, which means he can't be God because he has a God. Go ahead, brother. What was you going to say, Ryan? Oh, oh, yeah. And then, like, if Christ is God, right, he should be all knowing, right? Does yeah. yeah. Christ know everything? Yeah. If he is God. And who, who got that precept revelation when, uh, when the angel came to Christ in the Hold on, hold on. Get it out of here. I don't know. 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 Matter of fact, he said, no man knows the hour. He said, God is going to return the father. He didn't say himself, even though he's going to return. He said, his father is going to return. Even though he said, he's been a son. He don't even know. So, how is Christ God if he doesn't know? If Christ is God, he would know when he's going to return. Huh? No, listen, hold on. The fact that you have a beginning makes you, you don't understand. God doesn't have a You understand? God's time. No, 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 no. no. Listen. Listen real carefully. God can't have a beginning. But you can't understand. So if Christ has a beginning, that makes him not God. Oh no, see, look. Okay, listen what I'm saying. God is outside of time. Right? So there is no beginning. You said Christ is the word. He came in the beginning, right? That was next to God. That makes him not God because he has a beginning. You know what I'm saying? Revelation chapter 14. Revelation chapter 14. Verse 14. Okay, come on. 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 Okay. Having on his head a golden crown, uh -huh. and in his hand a, a sharp sickle. Uh -huh, read. And another angel came out. Oh, and another angel came out, read. Of the temple, uh -huh. crying with a loud voice uh -huh. to him that sat on the cloud. Uh -huh. Thrust in thy sickle. What? Thrust in thy sickle. Uh -huh, read. And reap. And what? And reap. Now, why is an angel given a God? Commandment to read, and he should know when it's the time. Right. And not only that, when Christ was in the garden of Gethsemane, why does he need an angel to come down and comfort him if he's God? Why does he need to pray to God and ask for uh, have an angel come down to comfort him? 
if he's God himself on the earth? Okay. So can God be tempted? Okay, so when we read Matthew 4, clearly, so how can he be God? He knows exactly. You see, let's, you see how strongly you're holding on to that, that position? Even though we have a, a plethora of evidence we give it to you, that shows that you've been indoctrinated. Yep. That shows that you've been indoctrinated to believe in Catholicism, I mean, in the Trinity. I mean, I okay, yeah. Uh, really okay, then after that, the, the way that y'all believe it is the broad way. Yeah. Yeah. The matter of fact, you got to pick different yeah, Obviously, not the narrow. Yeah, yeah, because Christianity. Which believes in the Trinity, which believe everyone can be saved, and that's that's every nation on the earth. That's that's the broad way. That's the biggest religion on the earth. And then the second one is uh is Islam. Right. That's the broad way. You believe in the broad way. And he said that he said he said he said that he said he said he said the narrow way is the uh um I don't want I don't want to quote it. Got it. Because the, the, the now the now way of the path is the path. We are in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate. The gate is straight. Now I can't read. For wide is the gate. For what? For wide is the gate. Uh-huh. And broad is the way. Broad is the way all these doctrines and philosophies that these other people have created outside of the Bible read. That lead them to destruction. Because you know, because you know Christianity is found nowhere in the Bible. You know that, right? Okay, so, but you believe in Christianity? That, that, that's a religion made by a man, by a man. And, 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 uh, and the true followers of Christ, they call themselves Christians. They're Israelites. Read. And many there be which go in direct. And many, many of people are gonna go in this wide, going go, go, go in this wide, uh, this wide path. Read. Because straight is the gate. What? Straight is the gate. I read. And narrow is, is the way. way. What? Uh -huh. And narrow is the way. Which lead them unto life. Which lead them unto life. This is the narrow way for the blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans to repent and to come back to the Most High their God. Because He's only their God. He only rules over them. Right. That's that's the narrow way. And saying you can get to it because those commandments weren't given to you. Right. It was only given to us. We're the ones that cannot eat. Right? We're the ones that have to eat the feast days of God. Right? And these are the things that are going to be enforced on you in the kingdom of God. Right? That's what's gonna happen. You're gonna be, you're not gonna be able to suffer. Oh yeah, definitely. You're gonna be held strictly to God's law. And you can't just do whatever you want in God's kingdom. You think people are gonna be rolling up weed in God's kingdom? Hey yo, hey yo, no, God, hey yo, God, 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 if there's no sin in the kingdom of God, that means the commandment will be enforced. But you're going to be forced to an appointment. You're going to be forced to keep the God's law in the kingdom. That's going to be a peace on them. I mean, I know, I was still like, hey, I was still like, yeah, it's going on right now. It's actually saying that, you know. Yeah, it's going to be forced to be peace, but that's what we're trying to tell us. We don't want to keep living in the kingdom. Because if you let everyone do whatever they want to, it's not going to be anything.